Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It is Saturday, September 26, 2020 on the Gregorian calendar, and it is Tishri 8, 5781 on the Hebrew calendar. Eight days into 5781. Hard to believe, isn't it? Um, time certainly does fly. So we welcome you to this Shabbat service, and we pray that it is a blessing to each and every one of you who are here with us and for those that listen on the archive as well. Just going to open this up with general announcements to start off this Shabbat service. I always do a plug in for free conference call.com. Um, it is a way of coming together live and in real time. And we've been really enjoying using that. Uh, we started off on a Wednesday evening and shifted it now to Tuesday um, at 8 p.m. Eastern Central Time. We have been doing something every Tuesday now for quite some time already. I mean, time really flies. We started off um using free conference with praying for those that are unsaved, our loved ones that are unsaved. So we, we had a really powerful prayer group the one evening. And then two weeks in a row, we did a prayer for the nations um, session or sessions, I should say. Um, and then we started um, the series that we're on now, um, the seven churches in the book of Revelation series, um, we did Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamon. Um, this, the, and then we took a break and we had a wonderful praise and worship evening uh, with Aaron McBride. He was so gracious to 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 spend time with us and give of his time and talent. So we we're very appreciative of that. And and a shout out to. Uh, other musicians and poets and authors and those that are artists that draw, paint, whatever. Um, this is a this is also a shout out to you because um, we can use freeconferencecall.com to also um, bring you on and you can share um, your talents also. So it's our way of tithing into you. Our ministries can tie them to you this way by promoting what you do uh, in your ministry, whether it be a ministry of music, whether it be a ministry of art, writings. Um, these are all ministries and they all minister to people in one way or another. And music is such a beautiful way of ministering to people. It just touches um, souls and touches people's hearts in such a way um, that um, is just wonderful, actually. So praise and worship is, as we know, is also very, very important in spiritual warfare. The devil hates it. Our Father in Heaven loves it. So he loves to hear his children sing to him. So, um, so we give that shout out to anyone else that is wanting to um, share their music, share their talents. Um, we would certainly reserve time, set time aside for you to actually come on and, and meet with us live, um, live and in real time. Um, and you can have the floor. It, it, that time would be yours um, to share what you have. Um, so that's, that's another way of using freeconferencequill.com. And it's just a beautiful way of, of actually offering those services. So this upcoming week on Tuesday night, we are going to go back to um, what we had started the seven week the, the seven week session on the churches of Revelation. And this upcoming Tuesday, we are going to be talking about the church of Thyatira. And this is to the church of Thyatira: Do not tolerate Jezebel. This is going to be a very interesting um, week, talking about the Jezebel spirit, how the Jezebel spirit comes into modern day churches and, and how to be aware of that. So this is going to be week four of this seven week series. Um, the other thing that we're going to be um, 
another opportunity this week um, is our Bible study, and that is the Messianic Jewish Family Bible that we have been using, the Tree of Life version, TLB. And this upcoming week, we are going to be completing the book of Jeremiah. We're going to be reading chapters 29 to 52. Also, in this upcoming week, we are going to be doing the scriptural uh, readings on the Day of Atonement. So we're going to have an extra service for everyone, and that is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And right now we are completing the Days of Awe, which are in between Rosh Hashanah, or, or Yom Teruah, and Yom Kippur. So we will talk about that um, in just a little bit. So those are some some opportunities this week. And also uh, Pastor Noel uh, does a Tuesday tidbits and he also does a service. So there's a lot of things going on, uh, lots of things going on um, in the ministry here, um, live and recorded. So please uh, feel free to participate. And we welcome you as a part of our ministry. So that is all I'm going to say about um, the general announcements for, for the moment. I'm going to open this now to prayer to open up Shabbat. Father God, thank you. Thank you for the ability to come together today to worship you. We worship you. We praise you. We adore you. We love you, Father. We thank you for this day that you have set aside for us. You have made this day special for us to come, to praise you, to be in your presence, to feel your presence with us, your glory, and to feel your Holy Spirit. We ask that the Holy Spirit come and guide every moment of this service and that we can feel your presence with us, blessing us, making us whole, guiding us every step of the way. And we ask this in the precious, mighty, mighty name of Yeshua, Jesus, Amen and Amen. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And in Exodus 20, starting with verse 8, it reads, Remember Yom Shabbat to keep it holy. You are to work six days and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Shabbat to Adonai your God. In it you shall not do any work, not you, nor your son, your daughter, your male servant, your female servant, your cattle, nor the outsider that is within your gates. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Thus Adonai blessed Yom Shabbat and made it holy. This is one of the Ten Commandments, or as the Messianic Jewish Family Bible calls them, the Ten Words. And I'm going to give you a little extra nugget right now uh, before we begin with the Shema. About this Shabbat, this Shabbat, um, the Parshat is Hayez, Hazanu, Hazanu. I can't talk today. <laughs> um, and um, actually, this Shabbat is the Shabbat that is between Yom Teruah the Feast of Trumpets, and Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement. It's also called Shabbat Shuva. And Shabbat Shuva, as I said, falls between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It's the Shabbat of returning. For the Hebrew year, 5781, this begins, it, it began last evening at sundown, September 25th, 2020, and it will end tonight at nightfall on September 26th, 2020. Shabbat Shuvah, the Sabbath of return, refers to the Shabbat that occurs during the 10 days of repentance. We also know them as the 10 days of awe 
is between Yom Teruah, or, or as many people call it, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Only one Shabbat can occur between these dates. This Shabbat is named after the first word of the Haftarah um, in Hosea 14, verses 2 to 10, and literally means return. It is perhaps a play on, but not to be confused with the word Teshiva, the word for repentance. And, the, and Teshiva also means to turn back, the repentance. So we're turning to God and repenting. So I'm going to read for you right now um, from Hosea 14, verses 2 to 10. Return, O Israel, to Adonai your God, for you have stumbled in your iniquity. Take words with you and return to Adonai. Say to him, take away all iniquity and accept what is good so we may repay with offerings of our lips. Assyria will not save us. We will not ride on horses and we will never again say our God to the work of our hands. For with you, orphans find mercy. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely for my anger will turn away from him. I will be like dew for Israel. He will blossom like a lily and thrust out his roots like Lebanon. His tender shoots will spread out. His beauty will be like an olive tree and his fragrance will be like Lebanon. Those dwelling in his shadow will return. They will grow grain and bud like a vine. His renown will be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, no more are idols to me. I responded and observed him. I will be like a luxuriant cypress tree. For me will be found your fruit. Who is wise? Let him discern these things. Who is intelligent? Let him know them. For the ways of Adonai are straight, and the just walk in them, but the wicked stumble in them. Powerful words in those verses. Join with me now in the Shema. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kebo, Merchuto, Leolam Bayad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love Adonai your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These words which I am commanding you today are to be on your heart. You are to teach them diligently to your children and speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Find them as a sign on your hand. They are to be as frontlets between your eyes and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And Yeshua further added, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The entire Torah and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And next we have the Amidah standing before God. We have the first blessing, and that is the patriarchs. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, and God of our fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the great, mighty, and awesome God, God most high, who bestows loving kindness and creates all, who remembers the kindnesses of the fathers and brings a redeemer to their descendants for the sake of his name. In love, king, helper, savior, and shield, blessed are you, Adonai, shields of Abraham. And the second blessing is God's might. You are mighty forever, Lord, giving life to the dead. Great is your saving power. He sustains the living with steadfast love and with great compassion gives life to the dead. He upholds the fallen, heals the sick, sets the captives free, and keeps faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, master of might, and who can compare with you, O king? who brings death, restores life, and causes salvation to flourish. You are faithful to receive the dead. Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives life to the dead. And the third blessing is holiness. 
You are holy and your name is holy. And holy ones praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Matavu, how lovely. How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, and your dwellings, O Israel. Because of your great loving kindness, I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Adonai, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. As for me, I will bow in worship. I will kneel before Adonai, my maker. As for me, my prayer to you, Adonai, is for a time of favor. O God, in your great love, answer me with the truth of your salvation. In the Torah, the Tree of Life Declaration, that's Kayim, the Torah, it's a tree of life to those who grasp it, and happy are those who cling to it. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are shalom. Bring us back to you, Adonai, and we will return. Re renew our days as of old. Bayom Hahu, in that day. And it is said, Adonai will then be king over all the earth. In that day, Adonai will be Achad, and his name Achad. May God's great name be magnified and sanctified. Amen. In the world that he created by his will, and may he establish his kingdom, cause salvation to sprout, and may he bring the Messiah closer. Amen. In your lifetime and in your days and within the lifetime of the entire house of Israel, speedily and may his great name be blessed forever and ever. Blessed and praised, glorified and exalted, extolled and honored, uplifted and lauded, be the name of the Holy One. Blessed be he who is beyond all blessing and song, praise and consolation, spoken in the word and say, Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel, and say, Amen. May he who makes peace in his heights make peace upon us, and upon all Israel, and say, Amen. And we will say the Shehekianu, Barukata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Heolam, Shehekianu, Vekimanu, Vehega, Vehegianu Lazman Haze. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who granted us life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this occasion. And this occasion is the Shabbat between Yom Teruah and Yom Kippur, known as Shabbat Shuva, and this week is Hazenu, is the Parashat. And the blessing of Messiah. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu, Melek Heolam, Asher Natan Lanu Dvar Hakayim Mashiach Yeshua. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the Universe, who has given us the word of life, Messiah Yeshua. Join with me now in Messiah's prayer. Our Father in heaven, sanctified be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen and amen. And in the ancient call to worship, the sound of the shofar was was done, and we're going to do that now and call to worship. <laughs> And because of copyrights, I cannot play music. Um, as as always, I encourage you to listen to at least two to three praise and worship songs. And we will meet you on part two. And we're going to begin with the Torah portion of this week's Shabbat service. <laughs> 